Hello friends, Gagan this side. Today I'm going to discuss about how we can add the Google reCAPTCHA verification in the Omniscript of the Salesforce. So Google reCAPTCHA is basically to verify whether a person who is using the portal is a robot or like a machine or not. It's basically many if you're working with any particular project, maybe they can ask you to add this Google reCAPTCHA at the end of the form. So I will just give you the quickly demo how I I have built that and what is the basically UI is looking at looking like after adding this recapture so you can see this is an uh, omniscript URL and uh, here at the end of this form I have added this recapture and it's, it's as of now it's showing me an error that complete the recapture if I will not complete this let me just put this uh, value on the required field if I will not complete the re recapture I will not able to move to the next screen of this flow so I have to click this I'm not robot and it's asking me to click the stairs so I have to choose all the images which contains the stairs so I'm just clicking next oh, sorry verify okay it's not verified maybe I missed something so it's asking again for the motorcycle I have to choose the motorcycle so it's verify now right and you can see that warning message has been disappeared and now i will be able to move to the next screen so this is one of the example where a client can ask you to add the recapture i will discuss with you step by step how you can add the recapture and uh, um, this is a record page of the account you can add here as well the recapture so like if, if let's suppose that a company is asking that before creating of any of the record account record i wanted to add this as a recapture so you can do, do it uh, using this custom solution or adding the custom lwc so uh, uh, how we can basically configure this uh, recapture so when you basically add a recapture you have to basically do the integration with the google admin recapture where you will pass the site key okay from your website and as soon as you will pass the site key, it will verify all your inputs and then it will give, give us a token. Okay, so these are the common steps that you have to perform. First of all, there is a static resource that you have to create. I will show you the demo of that static resource and then you have to create a LWC and you have to go to the admin recapture, which will give you the site key and you have to add the domain sales source domain, this sales source domain where you have added the page. So this is a sales source domain. You have to add that here so this is the admin of the google recapture and you can see that i have created one recapture and i have added domain this is this domain is nothing but this is a domain of the salesforce so wherever you wanted to add the recapture you have to provide the domain name over here and then as soon as you will uh, create this uh, recapture uh, label as soon as you will add this re, uh, this domain in your Google admin recapture, you will get this site key and this site key you have to use in your static resource. So how my static resource is looking like. So this is static resource is nothing but this is just kind of HTML, which will, which will get the, you know, it will, which will get the URL or basically get the UI from the Google recapture and will basically render here. Okay. So this is the website. This is a script URL where we are passing this site key from where we will get this site key. We will get this site key from this Google recapture admin site. This is an admin sign. I will add this link in the comment box or either in the description of this video. So you have to go there. You have to add your domain. As soon as you will add the domain, you will get this site key and then you have to provide your, your site key here in the static resource. So for the, for the demo purpose, I have added a security key here, but you can configure your code like like that so that you don't have to expose your site key on this uh, static resource. Either you can use a name credential or either you can use a custom label. <laughs> so as soon as you provide your site key and and you will hit this google recapture website it will give you a token if the token is coming that means uh, that means uh, the recapture verification is successful if the token is not coming then that means it's failed okay and we are loading this static resource we are loading this static resource here in this lwc so i have created one custom component where we are using this iframe and iframe we have given source as in the navigation to this navigation to is nothing but the url which is coming from the static resource and on load this is the event which is getting fire and this is the javascript 
where we are getting the resource we are getting the resource <coughs> from the static resource this is a static resource so ha, i will show you how, how i have basically uploaded this file so this was the html file which i have uploaded in the on the static resource so you have to just create one static resource with a, whatever the name name you are giving then you that the same name you have to import here okay whatever the file name you have given in your static resource so this is this is a static resource name so you have to import with the same name of the file that you have given here and then you have to create one static resource and then you have to upload this static resource html file okay so it's, it's, it's in my local if I, I can show you if uh, i go to my desktop not to desktop once again mm, yeah this is not desktop but this one you can see this i recapture video this is nothing but the html file which I created on my VS code and I have basically uploaded on this static resource and this static resource I am I am importing on this LWC since I have to add this LWC on my Omni script so I have to use this Omni script base mix in and I have to extend my lightning component so as soon as the component is loaded on the constructor I am basically uh, yeah so first of all I will take this page URL and I'm assigning to this 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 variable navigation tool. This is this is the page URL which is coming from the static resource, and this page URL you can see I'm checking it on the console. Okay, and then and then you can see um I'm checking this I'm using this window dot add event listener, and I'm passing this listen for message this this method i'm passing this to here and i'm passing this message okay and and uh, if i go to the html there is a method called on load as soon as the component is getting loaded it's basically giving us this console message i'm just printing i'm just checking whether the captcha is loaded or not for just my debugging purpose i have used this as soon as the component has has been loaded okay and there is this listen for message okay as soon as my static resource is loading i'm basically passing the target to this add event listener and this is giving us one event which is called listen for message and here inside this i am using this console.log this console.log just to check what is the origin of this event what is the value what is the data inside this event i'm just checking using the console just for my testing purpose and if if i showed you here in the console if the token is coming we are passing this value status as unsuccess so as soon as we are checking from this event if the status is coming as unsuccess i'm just printing the recapture verification successful if it is not coming as unsuccessful it's coming as, as if it is coming as unfailed that i am printing the value the verification has been failed just for my understanding as soon as I build this and I verified, I tested each and every functionality. I added this method called Omni apply call response. So if you have worked on velocity, you might know that how we can pass the value from Omni script from LWC to the Omni script. So basically pass in order to pass any JSON value node or JSON value, we use this Omni apply call response. So this is the element and this is the value of this element we are passing to the Omni script. Okay. I hope you understand till here. And if I go again, if I go here in my Omni script, so in, in the Omni script, we have added this lightning component, custom lightning web component, where we have given the reference of the same LWC. This is LWC. LWC name is recapture v2 and uh, yeah so I have just added the element and I've given the reference and I have also added this messaging element which basically preventing user to move ahead so that user has to complete the recapture first and here I'm basically checking this value which we are passing from the LWC we are passing one value from LWC, which is which is this right? Captcha state. 
if captcha state is success that i am not showing this message the this message this message i am not showing but the captcha is coming as a success when it is not coming as a success i am rendering this value so that user cannot move ahead unless or un until he has completed this recaptcha so when i am completing when i am just providing all the images value and i am providing all the images value uh, the status is coming from my static resource with the value status equal to success and the same value i'm checking here uh, in my omni script so as soon as i am asking me to check the bridge 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 that's it i guess yeah see the well so that warning message has been disappear and if i inspect this so whatever the console log i have added you can see message received uh, right so message received is coming in in form of object origin is coming what is the origin from which website i'm hitting the google recapture and as soon as i basically provided all the click choose all the exact verification pictures it's giving me the status as a success okay so this is it uh if you have any doubt you can reach out to me i can help you out to configure this recapture and i will i will also basically put all of this code static resource lwc on my github uh, link and please do subscribe this channel so that i can come with some new uh, use case on omni studio on the salesforce thank you thanks for watching this video